Hey guys, I'm Rena Wells. I'm here to do your karmic reading for this week of June 7th. Um, yeah, let's get started. I'm getting a, a energies of massive karmic cycles that have been ending. And I'm feeling that these set of karmics are trying to really let go. Um, yeah. So if your karmic person does not know about you, if your person's, if your twin's karmic doesn't know about you, if the third party doesn't know about you, then this probably isn't your reading. But I feel that for some of you, this karmic is, some of them may be still be doing some stuff to try and really hang on and manipulate the situation, but I feel that cycle's coming to an end, and what I'm really picking up this week is a woman, is what I'm seeing, is grieving and really trying to find herself again because she got so lost in this situation that she doesn't know who she is. And thank you, Spirit. Spirit is saying all the shade that she has thrown in her life and all her relationships, not just this one, but because she was with such an angelic being is what I'm hearing. Your person is highly um, from another realm. Obviously, twins are from out of this world. Um, so that, that energy alone... Um, is really bringing back a lot of uh, opened this karmic up enough thank you spirit to be able to receive her karma karma that she's given out and what she's gotten away with in the past um, it becomes very humbling about how evil some people can really be and some people are ready for redemption and if people are ready for redemption then who are we to say anything that's up to god right it's not up to us but yeah, I feel this person is aware of what's going on and they're trying to move on. Now, some of them may be manipulating situations. Take it as it resonates for you. And others are like they're really done. They are just really trying to move on with their lives. So let's see what's going on with this 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 female that I'm picking up on. They wanted me to use divine counterparts in separation, but I need to pull in how this karmic energy is feeling towards the masculine on the side and towards the feminine on the side, just as an overall. So who is this karmic energy spirit that I'm picking up on? Who is this karmic energy that I'm picking up on and how are they feeling towards the divine masculine? What's the energy with this karmic person towards the divine masculine? Well, that's exactly what I was saying. They're saying that it's the world here. So there is a cycle ending for these karmic partners towards the masculine. And how are they towards the divine feminine? What are they thinking about the divine feminine? I thought there were plenty more fish in the sea. So this karmic knows that this divine feminine um, has been seeking. Mm -hmm. They're watching you, divine feminine, they, that you've been seeking. Oh, thank you, Spirit. They're bringing me to two people on. You know what? I've never, I've always wondered, why are there two people on this card? Because I always feel like it should be one person on that card because it's one person who's fishing and that I keep getting stuck in these relationships that are crap like <laughs> I thought there were more fish in the sea so this is funny that there's two people because spirit is saying there's the masculine and the feminine that they just kept doing this over and over and pulling crap and she's having this karmic person is realizing how they're one of these monsters oh my god wow and they have to kind of be thrown back into the water is what i'm getting so that they can purify in the powers of water and christ energy baptism is what i'm hearing oh my god because you know my forces need the the holy water <laughs> it's like what i'm getting it's so crazy wow um i want to pull one more on the feminine what else are they feeling towards the feminine wow so they know that the masculine is on his way towards the feminine they're beating themselves up okay some of them are now some of them aren't some of them are very resistant but where is this karmic energy right now the time isn't right for me to reach out so this masculine is not talking to this karmic person right now okay so they're kind of pulled back in their energy as well the karmic so i know you're my soulmate so they felt that this masculine was their soulmate could have been karmic soulmate but um they're also aware of who this divine feminine is. So I'm going to pull some tarot. I wanted to use an overall energy just to see where the karmic energy was at right now. And definitely there's an ending and a new beginning for this masculine. 
and knowing that there's, there's the chariot, so you may be dealing with a cancer for some of you, um, sign of cancer, but there's also like fast movement, you know, that they, they, <laughs> I thought there were plenty more fish in the sea and this person is moving on towards the divine feminine and they're realizing that. They could also be thinking towards a masculine that they're a monster, right? Some of them may have it healed and would not be in a place of accepting that they're the monster. So you got to take it as it resonates because I'm getting multiple messages here. But either they're deflecting that it's a masculine that's a monster and there's nothing wrong with them. Or um, there's a monster here that uh, these two people have just been in bad relationships and this is karmic justice, okay? What is going on with this karmic energy right now, Spirit? What is going on with this karmic energy? Thank you, Spirit. What is going on with this karmic energy right now? Yeah. Okay. Wow, we've got quite a bit. So this karmic energy is in the energy of the magician in reverse. So trying to manipulate the energy in the past. That's what they were doing. Some of them may still be doing that, knowing that they have to move on here quickly. There's going to be fast communication and very quickly because there's a reunion happening. Three of Cups. Also could be third party situation, but I'm not feeling that because they have to take this cup. They have to take come out of their apathy. They have to take the cup of God. And sometimes taking the cup of God is not a nice experience. It means that you have to like go against what you really want in your world and to follow faith and to follow where spirit takes you and to follow the messages that you're getting. Um, and so this karmic is not happy about taking that cup and um, is still somewhat trying to maybe manipulate the situation for some. Let's clarify this magician, please. Where's the karmic in regards to their headspace in regards to this magician? Yeah, they want to end their pain because there's a new beginning in love happening here. So it's not manifesting for them. Nothing is happening for them. Um, they are completely aware that their manipulation is causing them more pain. They have to wake up. They can't be um, not actioning things in their life. Um, they're trapped and they have to move through this very quickly. Okay, so they're mentally trapped. Um, they can't seem to move on. They can't let go. They are in so much pain. And that that's what happens when you work with energy and you have no idea what you're doing. Like, if you don't know what you're doing in energy, guarantee it's going to come back to you and bite you in the ass. And you're going to be like, why did this manifest? I don't deserve this. Well, go back and look at the things that you've been doing. Like, this is what happens with energy, guys. Um, and especially with karmic energies, when they think that they know what the hell they're doing and they're doing all this, like, spell work and manifestations and drinking plant medicine to try and manifest and like no you're taking the sacredness out of the holiness of the alignment of the creator who made this world who knows and only gifts those who have a humble heart not out of selfish needs you can't be selfish and have vision you can't or it's going to be tainted right it's it's going to be dark uh, it's going to have manipulation and it's going to attract demons so Um, this is like, and this is the true essence of twin flames. They have an inner knowing, right? They have some kind of intuition. So this karmic is trying to move through their pain. Um, they know that things are moving fairly quickly. The eight of wands, some of them are trying to move it very quickly. Now something's happened. They've shifted from their past. They're discovering things from their past and where they've been very defensive and guarded. We have the page of swords with the six of cups with the seven of wands okay they know they've been this devil here they know they've been that and they know that it's been like that in the past because they've been stuck in the past and you can't move forward in your life if you're still stuck in how things were in the past um they know that there's more discovery that this past is teaching them but they've been completely guarded and it's moving fast how is this karma doing with this fast moving energy spirit and moving forward here they're trying not to work on it. They're not focused on it. We have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. Um, they're trying to release their burdens. They're really struggling and going back and forth with this. So they're trying to really clean up their responsibility and their end of it. But they're having a hard time with it because it's so overwhelming. And this is the thing. A lot of these karmics that I'm seeing in the readings and stuff, they're having a really hard time of letting go, of moving forward because they, they're chameleons. They morph their identity into something that they weren't. And that's created massive emotional st instability, which is the Page of Cups in reverse. They don't know how to love themselves. They seeped their identity identity within another person 
They're trying to quickly move through this, but you can't quickly move through that. That can take an entire lifetime to figure out who you are as a soul. You know, um, twins come here already knowing who they are, but these karmic energies don't. They don't know who they are. They've based everything out of um, their partner, what their partner's doing, what the media tells them, what beauty standards are like, what their friends are like, what their interests are. They even form identities out of their interests. Like, oh, I love, you know, music, and that's just me now. And I'm sorry, that's me. They identify themselves with their exterior world instead of like taking it as hints of who they are and instead of attaching to those things you know the, instead of like saying no okay i'm not going to attach to that but i'm going to use that as maybe a gateway to discover more about myself and really take responsibility for myself instead of creating multiple personalities and identities that creates instability is what i'm seeing here and not focusing on their ownership in their life causes them to struggle now this person is trying into in their they're sitting in their home with these plants here with the thorns and the roses and trying to really transform this cactus into beauty with the flowers growing on it and trying to really work on themselves so for some of you some of them are working on themselves for others uh, no <laughs> i'm sorry i'm seeing like mm, so a lot of clearing to happen for some of you okay some of you yeah some of you are lucky. These karmics get it. They're willing to move on, you know, um, because they're so heavy in the karma. Tell me about this karma. It's so heavy, spirit. Wow. They're not being offered anything by the divine. Okay. Nothing's going to be offered to them until they do this work. Yeah. They're at a crossroads of where they've been stuck. We have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Two of Swords with the Knight of Cups. Sorry, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So they're stuck at a crossroads in their instability nothing is going to come towards them okay especially those that are still playing in dark magic um until they they move through this some of them are trying to move through it very quickly like they think oh i'm gonna just you know <laughs> i'm just gonna go to like a retreat for a week and they'll be fine it's like no like integration takes time like I've drank many, many times, and I'm still integrating. Like I, I've already completed integrating the energies from three years ago. Right? Like that, that's deep work, guys. You know? Like, these karmics think, like, oh, I'll just go for a week and everything will be fine. Like, that's not how healing happens. That's not how it works. Um, so they're trying to rush the process still. So we'll see if how much clarity they actually get. Some of them are really trying, but they're, some of them aren't realizing you can't rush it either. Um, so it depends on where your, your pers this karmic person is at. And so they're try they know about this reunion. What do they know about this reunion? They're trying to open up and let it go because this masculine, the king of wands in reverse, is not actioning anything towards them. So these masculines are not actioning anything because the divine feminine is who they want to be with. And this karmic knows that. They think it's deception. But again, it's that card of burning everything down. Everything is burning down right now. So they're trying to clean up the betrayal. What is the seven of swords for the karmic energy? They know about this reunion with the divine feminine. Yeah, they can't walk away. We have the Eight of Cups in reverse. So they have a deep knowing that this is happening, but they're also like at a place of contemplating, how do I move on? And I, can I get into that dimension? Can I move into this this place? Or is that just not a thing? And how do I get into there? So some of them may be trying to mimic still what I'm seeing the Divine Feminine. Oh, my dear God. Trying to like manipulate people around them, maybe friends maybe trying to figure out well can i like go into this dimension what is this what is this spirit of uh, what of like being like the divine feminine i see here some of them so want to be like the divine feminine it's like they're looking for another identity this person may have massive mental problems that they just want to be like the divine feminine and to be with this masculine it's like you have to become that wow this is a there's a massive identity crisis going on right now i'm going to take a look at that we're gonna we're gonna get into that because that is something huge they're trying to hold their strength in being single so i feel like even if this masculine leaves they're going to try and still pretend that they're the actual divine, divine feminine and they're going into separation and they, even if the masculine comes towards the feminine they're still going to try and be like see i'm the real feminine there's something weird <laughs> whoever you're dealing with you guys if it sounds like your story i'm sorry this person has some mental issues um 
So right now, they want to take this cup from the Divine, the Four of Cups in reverse. Whew, this is heavy. There's massive trauma that's here. They're trying to end their pain. So they're trying to move forward, and they think if they move forward, the, ma the masculine's going to come back to them. Oh, my God. We have Divine Feminine in the reverse. Fate. They're trying to end their, their pain because the Divine Feminine is being grounded, um, and the masculine is King of Swords in reverse, is persevering, and he's blocked to this karmic energy because he's pursuing the Divine Feminine um, and looking at a way to move towards Divine Feminine. So... They know this is faded. They know this is faded, but there's something else going on. Let me see, guys. Let's dig deeper because you know when I play in these karmic energies, it's like it feels, you know, so good. At like, oh, maybe they're getting it. Oh, wait a minute. That's another friggin' clearing because remember, there are layers to karmic energies. They, they are not here to find their twin. They're just not. They're not. That's just not a thing. They're here to heal the karma in their lifetime and to know what their karma is because they've been doing this for eons. And they've been manip manipulating the tribe of the divine masculine feminine, the families, the community, the people, themselves, the children, the all of that. They've been manipulating this for eons. So this is why these karmics cannot handle this. So let's dig a little deeper because what is this um, energy spirit of these karmic energies? Okay saying that they are ending their heartbreak they're moving through their healing they want to do it quickly right we'll get into the quick stuff first but they want to move forward and trying to persevere and be okay with you know their heartbreak and all of that because they know this is faded what is that about that's because divine masculine put his um foot down hmm Somebody took the boss, became the boss of something, okay? And that's what I'm seeing here. The Divine Masculine is pursuing um, and has left, okay? is moving into another path. And so this karmic has no other reason but to try and heal and end their heartbreak because this masculine put his foot down here. Um, because this masculine is saying that I was gifted something. Now, the karmic, yeah, that's their main man, Okay. And so how is the karmic really feeling about the spirit? Oh, yeah, let's do that. Okay, let's do that. I'm going to grab one of these. How are they really feeling about that? They want to be the main female. See? They haven't broken away. And why is that? They're in despair. Right? They're in massive despair. And spirit is pulling me to a deck of cards. Just give me a second, guys. I want to, like, you know, just fast forward here because I don't. Oh, here they are. Um, can you give us an emotional card? There's two blank cards in here. So if it's not anything emotionally manipulative, that, that's not going to show up. But let's see. Let's see. Where is this karmic energy's true intention here in regards to letting this masculine go and allowing him to come to and allowing removing the blocks of the masculine come towards the feminine? What is really going on with this karmic energy emotionally? Because if it's really meant, if they're really on the clear and they really want to heal instead of manipulate, one of those blank cards will show up. I know that. Because it's, it's shown up in readings before. What is going on with this karmic energy spirit, with this despair? What is really behind what they're showing to the world? Yes, I'm healing. Yes, I'm doing this work. Yes, I'm... And But it, they're trying to manipulate more of the energies around them because they can't really... They want to move through this healing process as fast as they possibly can. And it's not a thing. You can't... <laughs> takes years to heal. I'm sorry. Like... You're just starting, so that's not going to be a thing. Um, and they're not being fully honest. They're saying they're cleaning up the betrayal, but let's see. What is the emotional intent behind this karmic? I thought it was a blank one. I was like, okay, but it's not the energy that I'm feeling exactly. I want this one too. Exactly. So the first one that came up, hoarding. They're a hoarder. And the energy of hoarding is accumulation of stuff and it doesn't mean that your house becomes messy and it's like on the TLC program and it's like they're uh, they're pigs right it's about their aesthetics my house looks nice I've got the nice furniture I've got all of this nice stuff they they collect and make their beautiful illusion of their life of how everything looks so amazing they hoard and a masculine and their masculine the divine masculine is another piece on their shelf or an artifact 
They're part of the hoarding collection. That's actually kind of disgusting. So this person doesn't even have an emotional attachment to your person. It's like they're just another statue, okay? We have codependency, self-love deficit deficit disorder they know how to love themselves so they attach they just attach they are so caught up in aesthetics they're so caught up in beauty standards they're so caught up on their human self and how they fit in the world how they're seen in the world and how other people see them and that's why they're trying to manipulate people around them to support them with how they see things and with their kindness and with their sweetness and how they look the part and all of that um, this is very dark narcissistic energy and again like they can't handle the trauma drama that's coming back to them because the karmic situation has ended so we're going to take a look and see what God is doing. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit wants to bring through what uh, Father is saying, what I'm bringing back um, to protect my pure, my pure twins. My twins are pure. I created them in the complete reflection of myself. It's a very expansive soul. And nobody, nobody betrays God's children. And even though the karmic is also God's child, it's like the Cain and Abel. It's almost like, well, you have gone so far into the dark, I can't support you that way. And you can't. You can't support a child if your child goes and becomes a serial killer. Can you support that child and their actions and their choice of life? Like, no. It's like, I love you, but I don't, I can't, I don't know how I can help you. Maybe come do medicine with me, but I don't know how else to do anything else with you. I can't support you. And that you're playing with demons um, so there's betrayal here and this betrayal is now coming in so because they're in a place of betrayal that's causing a lot of issues so let's keep these out spirit is saying we're gonna go and take a look at karmic justice here what God is doing towards the karmic right now in regards to these emotional traumas because um yeah spirit is saying we're gonna take a look right now um at put these away at uh yeah what is the spirit we're gonna take a look at the emotional trauma drama that is pushing these are the intentions that are happening with the karmic um what their intentions of what they're doing and how God is actually bringing karma, how God is like blocking them from coming to the twins now. That's what's happening. Thank you, Spirit. Because what's happening is like, remember the dead bird? Go watch those videos. If you're new to my channel, guys, go take a look at those those last um, two videos, my hammock talk and then the talk about the karmic energy, um, it, 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 the divine masculine reading, sorry. Um, a bird died, so we're hitting massive cycle endings because the masculine is on his way. So we're moving into something here. Um, Spirit is saying we're going to take a look at where's the karmic's intention right now, and then how God is actually helping the karmic or blocking that from the karmic attacking the masculine and the feminine energy, okay? Sorry, guys, I needed a sip of water. Let's grab a different... Oh. We also have another card here. It fell out. It was left there. Um, I didn't see it on the ground. Um, it was left in the in the box. Domestic violence. So for some of you, they've been abusive to your masculine. They're abusive. Emotionally, physically, whatever that is. Um, they're hoarding. They have codependency, betrayal, and domestic violence. Wow. Wow, oh, you're a real, real, uh, I don't know what to say about that. I'm going to use my deck, the Cosmic Tarot. So they're going to be for sale by the end of this month. Um, and plus my Mirrored Messages deck. And I'm working on a third deck, which um, I'll be printing and showing you guys soon, which will be available for purchase. So let's take a look. All right, Spirit. Where are these karmic energies? We're going to get one for each one. That's why this last one was here. We have their mind space is about hoarding. So that's how their mind, if you think of the intelligence of, or the intellect of a mind that's constantly hoarding, attachment, attachment, attachment. I need it. 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 It's like becomes too much. That's their mind space. Okay. It's cluttered. Their co it creates codependency in their heart and attachment in their heart. It actually hijacks their feelings. So whenever you have a thought, when you think of something and it creates an emotion, that's always your ego always your ego spirit like when you see a baby you just know you love that baby you don't have to think about 
a thought of thinking of loving a baby you just know you love a baby so that's your soul so if you have a thought and you're thinking of something and it creates pain that is your ego trying to keep you in that place um and in their actions they're they're actioning betrayal they're actioning betrayal towards themselves which is like through black magic doing other things to the, the masculine or towards the feminine um because and that betrayal is coming back to them now which is really hard and really something they can't handle can't dish it don't play in it um and the domestic violence they're really <laughs> becoming mean they're mean they're emotionally abusive wow and physically on some some of them throw things you know wow this masculine really went through it let's just go with the karmic energy spirit in regards to this uh yeah hoarding energy what is going on with the karmic energy if you guys like this so far don't forget to hit a like it really helps my channel to grow subscribe and uh yeah if you want a reading just email me if that sounds like your story we have the two of swords in reverse okay so being blocked off so they're trying to open up to this illumination and try to move forward but there's that eight of wands they're trying to do it quickly it's almost like they're trying to rush i don't know why they're trying to rush they're healing that's like years of like some type of i don't know why they're trying to like rush this like they're really trying to rush their illumination all right, let's see about their codependency spirit and their heart space. So their hoarding mindset affects how they feel in their heart. So their emotions are attached to this hoarding energy. We have three as well. We have the three of wands planning for their future, how to move forward has been completely halted. And because of that, they're trying to like, again, quickly move forward. So whatever has halted, they can't sit in that codependent place. They just keep looking for something exterior of themselves to feed this addiction. They're addicted. They're addicts, guys. These are addicts we're dealing with. They're addicted to the chemical responses of love vibrate, of what they think love is. It's not real love. It's all fake. It's not real love. Um, it's attachment love, which is really gross. And um, it's hard because that's how our world has taught us to love, you know. Um, you can see it in some parents, they, they, their identities become like their children. They don't allow their children to be free in who they are because they're so enmeshed with their children. That's toxic psychological behavior. I've learned a lot about this when I was in years of therapy, right? Because I've, I've been healing for almost 30 years, guys. Like, this isn't, I'm not, I'm a, I'm a real healer. I'm a wounded healer. So that enmeshment, right, is a psychological pattern that we find that um unhealed parents merge with their children so much that they their children become them it, it's um it's very wounding right especially if you have a narcissistic parent um and so this karmic in their actions they always action from a place of betrayal always and they get angry as hell right when they don't get their way so here we have it they're not really working their actions <laughs> look it's another manipulation to i can't make this up see in the surface energies if you don't dig deep these karmics are like yes i'm healing i'm moving through it i'm working i'm drinking medicine i'm i'm going to a retreat i'm like doing more yoga i'm meditating i'm doing this new tapping method i'm eating better i'm exercising i've healed it no you haven't you're shoving it down <laughs> you're shoving it down um because that takes years to heal years it doesn't happen overnight this is um again they're not working on it they're not really working on it because they're in a state of constant codependency they are looking for the next passionate path here how can they bring this passion forward how can they start something really passionate sexual lustful that's where their addiction is it's always paid off that those highs feel so good to them you know it's an addiction and so domestic violence they get angry downright angry and domestic abuse when they don't get what they want they're like spoiled little children wow wow that's the ice queen right there the queen of swords yeah see they're having conflicts and ending their entrapment they're trying to free the mind with the eight of swords in reverse they're completely blocked though they're actually not nice people i think it's hard for them to look at that they haven't been a really nice person their entire life they attack in the energies. They just put on a nice front. 
I mean, she's beautiful, you know, the Queen of Swords. When I make this card, like, look at her. She's absolutely gorgeous. But she's cold as ice, you know, blocked. Try, and there's a lot of conflict here. They, they, they've lost the battle, but no one's there with them. They're alone, right, in this conflict. They've lost. They're defeated. And in this conflict, they're trying to really untrap that, those mind patterns, but it's really not... Um, it's not working out for them here. So, yeah. Let me just take a look at this, guys. I'm just reading it a little bit more. So what I'm seeing here is like they're trying to rush through their illumination, right? They're trying to say, I'm healing to the masculine. I'm working through it. I can see where I'm blocked. I can see it clearly now. I'm going to plan for my future. And I'm moving through it very quickly. I'm healing. I'm healing. I know everything's stopped, but I'm really healing. But it's another form of identity is what I'm getting for them. It's another form of their um, persona that they can heal this this quickly. Clarify that Knight of Swords with these karmics that they're moving through this fast. Because they're allowing the breakdown of the home to happen. Yeah, but look. That strength is in reverse. They don't have good they don't have good roots. Spirit told me to use my deck here because when I made this card, it's very much what how I see my masculine. The roots go deep, big and hard thick roots. You can't push that tree down. That tree remains standing. But this karmic energy is not like that. They think they're like that, but they're not. And so even though they're saying, look, I'm moving through my healing quickly, I'm allowing this marriage to fall apart. I'm allowing their foundation to fall apart. See, I'm not codependent. I'm planning for my future now, but it's like they're not, they're all over the place. They're not grounded. It's another illusion. It's another illusion. Why are they doing this? There's something else going on, guys. I, I need to get a little bit more clarity here. Why are these karmics pretending that they're moving through their healing so fast? Like, I, I don't get that. Like, why are they saying, ah, I'm healing, I'm taking everything down? Like, why are they saying that? Why do they think that this is a thing now? I don't understand, Spirit. Can you please give us some more clarity? Why are they saying this? This wanted to come a love partnership. They want the love partnership so bad, they're willing to just do anything. They want to attach to it. But they're, they want me to take these two as well. It's completed. Okay. So... They're really trying hard to rebirth themselves. It's like if they do this, they can keep their love partnership. They have it in their head that this is what, what's happening. Um, so they're trying to prove it. But I don't believe these masculines are buying it. Okay. Um, I'll do a karmic and a masculine read this at some point this week. So um, and probably another pick a card this week so you guys can see some of that. But this is like compassion and completion. So they're trying to hold this compassion to complete this cycle, but they're trying to exactly put the effort into it and rush through the rebirth process to keep this attached, to keep this love. It's like if they can get through this and they can do it, but it's not a thing. Healing takes years. I, I, I couldn't, my family healing took me 30, almost 30 friggin' years in this lifetime to heal. And I'm not like anything like my family. I'm completely different. <laughs> um, I picked souls that were completely unawakened to come into. And I'm teaching them now. They, they have earned their respect. That was friggin' 30 years of healing. Damn right. You know, like they're not going to get it in a year or like in one session of like therapy or whatever. It's not a thing. So I want to see how the masculines are reacting to this. Yeah. How are the masculines reacting to these karmic spirit? I want to get uh, a card on this. How is this masculine reacting to this karmic energy? It's always in the heart space. Notice how we stay in the heart space where they get stuck. How are these car how are these masculines responding to this fakeness? Like, look, I'm healing, I'm rushing through it to keep this partnership. I'm putting in the effort, but are they seeing that it's just another manipulation tactic? Because these masculines 
apparently spirit are moving towards the divine feminine so how are the masculines seeing this karmic with all of this healing that they're doing what are they thinking of these karmics not today okay so i'm trying to see the order that these came in so they see these masculines see that it takes time to heal <laughs> need time takes time in time in time cycles time to heal and progress so these masculines know that it takes time to heal so they're not dumb okay they're not playing into these games anymore um they're saying not today to this karmic energy they're saying not dealing woo, not dealing with hurt avoiding a conversation call boundaries still angry so this um these masculines are not playing into this okay they know sorry to grab this that they married each other there was a marrying in this connection okay and the marrying in this connection I need that wind, guys. Ooh, it feels good. Uh, the mirroring in this connection is showing um, relationships reflect our wounds. This was a this was a relationship that showed them where they were actually wounded within themselves, right? Twins do that, but not mm, a little bit more at the beginning. When they come into union, it's more about pushing each other to each other's best selves because of the gifts that you're trying to incorporate that the other soul partner has. So the other twin has. So again, if you don't understand that, go back and look at the last reading, but I'll tell you a little bit. It's like, so for instance, if, you know, I'll use my example, I'm very gifted musically, but my twin is very deeply buried in him. I noticed that he had rhythm in him, but he didn't believe, he didn't know he did, but it came out when we were together. And so because of that, when I have the musical, I have the musical gifts, the other twin has it, but they have to dig deeper to ground it. And so same thing, my twin is an amazing entrepreneur, and this is my first business ever. I've worked for government for so long, and, um, you know, I had to learn and how to ground that. It was in me, um, and so, but I had to, you know, do that in order to ground it. And, and so that's how the twins come together. They complement each other that way, and they balance each other out. Whereas this relationship, this um, masculine is completely aware that it was a complete wounding of inner child healing that needed to happen. And union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, and everlasting promise. This is what the masculine wants, is a union. Okay? Not today to the karmic. <laughs> Not to this karmic. Okay? Um, and so that's how they're responding and it's really affecting this karmic but again this karmic is doing everything possible to show that they're serious about their healing but again healing takes time and the masculines are aware of that so I'm glad about that we're gonna see where um, we're gonna go a little deeper and then we're gonna see where God is is protecting the twins and how God is helping the karmic to move forward in their own life so we have betrayal here okay they're not really working on it right remember guys there we have the eight of uh pentacles in reverse with the nine of uh pentacles in reverse with the ace of wands they're looking for the next passionate thing because they feel completely betrayed they're in a victim mentality they can't own up for their wrongdoings and they have to stay wounded and hurt because a lot of their shadow work a lot of the darkness has been revealed look at this karmic justice they have to bring justice so they're looking for the next passionate thing and they're completely blocked to move forward and really in their life so they're looking for the next thing that feels good that's addiction okay seven of cups guys illusions clarifying that ace of wands so they're looking we have another storm brewing so this karmic isn't healing guys the storm is coming here they're still <laughs> looking for the next illusion to make them feel good they'll be stuck on this for the rest of their lives they really don't i mean it's going to take it's a slow process for them to get through and that's why they picked a slow growth process so the twins can actually come together um because they're that's just their path in this lifetime so they have domestic violence because they're ice cold they're trying to untrap themselves here and the conflicts that they cause in this connection with the masculine but they still want to win oh my god seriously they want to end their regrets and win okay they may have had domestic violence they may have been verbally abusive because of their blocked ice cold nature they're trying to untrap their themselves spirit what is this they're trying to end their pain they know they cause pain 
but they're still doing it in a manipulative way the magician in reverse so when i created this nine of swords pattern uh card sorry guys when i created this um nine of swords card if you look at it it's like all of the mental anguishes and illusions that we've created the patterns in our mind the chemical responses right in our mind um, as we move up and bring this up it's like it's it's breaking it's like it's coming to the surface you know but this was in reverse they can't do that they can't do that they're still manipulating the wizard the magician in reverse so and what is the domestic violence exactly spirit what is that Ten of Swords, betrayal. They became very abusive. As soon as they got betrayed, that's that betrayal again here, the illusions. They need the illusions to stay sane. They can't handle it. So they may have also, they're actually probably in so much pain, they can't deal with their, the karmic energies that they give out to people, that they're ready to just let this masculine go. They think that he's an ass or whatever, of course, you know. Um how exactly are these karmic energies with this domestic violence what is this domestic violence i want to get a little deeper some of you guys your masculines were really it's so hard to realize men get abused just as much as women do in relationships okay our system is so messed up with that they it's like we can't honor sensitive males it's not right it's just not right um yeah there's dom what is this domestic violence karmic energy towards the masculine because he ran he left what is this domestic violence towards the masculine outdated thinking okay we have cassette conditioning replaying events over in their mind so they couldn't handle it this karmic kept playing it over and over and over and over and over and over and over again they couldn't handle a betrayal that this masculine, they think that this person was running because of they had the code, they were deflecting their codependency on this masculine, saying, You're codependent, your fear of intimacy, you're doing this, you're not opening to me. It was always the masculine's fault, it's always your fault, it's always your fault, it's always your fault. You, 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 you're doing it, you cheated on me, you betrayed me with the divine feminine, you did this, you no, 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 no. They kept doing this over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. Of course, this masculine's gonna run. He's already dealt with that in his life. You know, this is uh, outdated thinking, conditioning, we're playing events. It put them in that place of betrayal constantly because welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together. Perfect. They had this illusion that this was the person for them, but this masculine knew, like, they also know what this masculine's heart really was. And it, it that's the truth of God. That truth sat in this karmic energy and they could not handle it that they kept trying to push their illusions they kept trying to push their illusions onto this masculine and when he couldn't conform to their idea of what these illusions were betrayal 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 violence domestic violence emotional abuse that's what happened and he ran the hell out of there okay you could only so much someone can take with that so wow let's see how God is dealing with the karmic energies. And that will be your reading, guys. Whew, what a showdown. That's a lot. I'm going to take a little break. I'm going to do a channel teaching today, too. So stay tuned for that. And I know this week, if you guys are new, make sure you subscribe. Don't forget to like and comment. I love interacting with you guys. Don't be afraid. If you share your story, it helps others. So I'm all about, let's just open up and be a family here. So share. The more you share, other people read that. They don't feel so alone. And it helps, you know. Um, the more knowledge that we can not withhold but share, the more we empower other people. Okay? So let's get started. Let's see. What is going on with God? God, Father, Divine Mother, I call you in. What is going on with this karmic? How are you helping the karmic? And so the messages for the viewers as well. All right, this is the overall energy they just want to bring through is I am standing and defending the twins. Okay, I'm standing and defending the twins and standing up against this karmic energy to be single and to close off the past for good okay so god is really coming through and saying no it's closing off i need a sip of water guys it's closing off uh you're going to be single 
and I'm defending the twins and I'm standing and I'm blocking. This is like the devil, okay? And the king, the sun god Ra coming in and being like, no, I'm the father. I, you are not. I'm grounding this into Mother Earth and to the Divine Mother. You cannot make your way. No. All right. So, spirit. There is a sense of hoarding here with this karmic energy and that they want to move quickly through their illumination. How, how are you aiding the karmics in this situation? Yeah, trying to get the karmics to own up their responsibility. God's going to be, yeah, about how you block the divine masculine. Look at this. You disrupted everything in his life. It was so hard for this masculine was trying to gain his footing. I don't feel this masculine's even gotten a break, you guys. He's going to need rest. When he comes to you, he's going to be tired. Give him reprieve. Give him a place to, without expectation, to just let him rest. Okay? Without expecting anything from him, Divine Feminine. Okay? He's tired. I can feel it. He's so tired. And God is really getting this karmic energy to take back some of that emotional distress and that owner to own up. So God is not going to let this karmic get away with anything and rush through any illumination. Don't worry. They're going to have to own up their burdens and their responsibilities and the frustrations that they call this they caused this masculine and what they've done to his emotional well-being. What did they do to his emotional well-being? Well, back and forth, contemplating. You're doing this, you're doing that. Clarify that two of wands, that he's moving forward here. Yeah, you're abandoning me. How dare you? I'm there for you. I support you. I don't support you. Whatever it is, their contemplation back and forth about their abandonment issues were constantly playing out on this masculine. And however, they were like, Jekyll and Hyde is wanting to be nice, kind, nice, kind, nice, no, no, no. Pulled back, emotionally deceptive, silent treatments. I feel this person did a lot of silent treatment because they're, I'm in pain. You don't love me. <laughs> God, I can't even. Do I look sad in this? <laughs> I can't, I'm sorry. I shouldn't mock them, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's getting to the end of the reading, so let's just keep going. <laughs> um, to sit in this energy, it's a little bit. I gotta go clear after this. So, yeah, God is like, however they were back and forth and their abandonment issues, they have to own up for that because they emotionally traumatize this masculine, okay? That uh, they're trying to rush through their awakening. They're going to have to sit in their regrets with this Five of Cups. Because they're not learning their lessons. With the Hierophant in reverse, with this marriage or this commitment ending, they're going to be sit in the hangman until they gain enlightenment. They ain't moving nowhere. God is not letting them get away with anything. Thank you, Father. Thank you. One more. They're going to be stuck. We have the Eight of Wands in reverse. It's so funny because we have had the Eight of Wands upright. I remember seeing it over here. <laughs> They're trying to watch, and God's like, no, you're not. <laughs> I'm stopping that. That's in reverse. Like, that's not going to be a thing. You can't go against the greater force of God. Like, <laughs> um, yeah, so <laughs> it's really funny. So um, I'm sorry, I shouldn't laugh. I shouldn't laugh. But I mean, when I feel righteous alignment, I'm like, yes, I love it. Um, so spirit is saying here, you know, God is saying here, like, okay, you're trying to create an illusion again. You're trying to block this karmic justice and, and create another illusion. You're not really focusing on your growth, so the wheel is not going to turn for you. Until you end, this person could be an alcoholic, until you heal your addictions, okay? Three of Cups in reverse. And your third party ways and your lustful ways and how you use sex and drugs and alcohol, drug, sex, rock and roll, like all that stuff, okay? Your, the wheel is not going to turn. You're not gonna get what's faded to you in this life. It's going to be a place of pain and suffering, unfortunately. But that's what they're, they're choosing to do harm to others. Family patterns, okay? Healing, um, ending marriages, ending commitments, okay? Until they end their own family patterns and their lineage. Addictions may run in their family, right? Because it's a, it's, it's a, it's not in your DNA. The pattern is in your DNA. The behavior, the energy is in your DNA. That just is however they express it is what is what's happening here um yeah so they're gonna keep trying to fight even with this domestic violence you know even if the masculines run away they may still try but it, i mean this mask is not paying any attention to this this karmic anymore but they have to win so they have to try and win in another situation so watch out men 
<laughs> watch out for these karmics, okay? <laughs> or women, or other women. <laughs> watch out for these karmic men. Okay, so they want to win at no cost, okay? They're in conflict. They're by themselves now. They want to win at no cost, but they can't plan for their future until they end this toxic behavior. Devil in reverse with the three of wands, okay? They're not going to be able to move forward and have the ships come in until they end this toxic behavior. And before, uh, yeah, before they can come to the finish line of a new of a new love beginning for them they're gonna have to heal this within themselves before they even get a partner and that could be that the rest of this lifetime it could take years but they've done this not just to the mask and they've done this to every relationship to this point in their life and not just romantic and the four of wands is about home life and a finish line and marriage but before they get real marriage and love they're gonna have to end the, this and wait before it comes to them god says they have to become deserving of it and heal through their emotional imbalances, their intuition to surrender of where they're at a crossroads. I have to keep pulling to get onto a new path here. They have to go onto a new path and clean up the betrayal of self and the betrayal that they've done to others before they can quickly move forward. Knight of Swords. Wow, guys. That's the karmic reading. I gotta go clean myself up after that. <laughs> that was all intense. I hope you enjoyed that. So much love, you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below if this is resonating for you. Good job to my Divine Feminines out there that are really holding their space and pulling their energy back and working on themselves and bringing God and, and Spirit and Mother Earth into your life to purify the energies. You guys are awesome. I love you guys. If you want a reading, email me and I'm sending you guys so much love. Bye.